Hi, this is Becky Schufelt, Executive Director of Life in the Wildlands, and I am here in beautiful Gold Beach, Oregon, where I'm on a fire assignment as a casual hire with the Forest Service as a public information officer, and I wanted to share with you some great activity I was able to capture today on the Anvil Fire, a small fire just north of the flat fire that I'm currently assigned to. So you might be wondering what a public information officer does on a wildland fire incident. What we do is communicate information to the public by capturing stories of current fire activity. And this includes the forums of social media, interacting with the community, and capturing videos and interviews with different folks. I am currently on the Hellespot on the Anvil Fire, and I will show you an interview that I did to help educate. Hey there, just uh, getting a good weather reading, checking out our trends seeing how our uh, expected and current fire behavior may be affected by uh, the temperatures and the humidity increases that we might see out here today. We also follow crews around trying to capture all the work that's currently being done on fire assignments. This is really important to communicate to the public because uh, informed public is a much happier public and we get to see really cool aerial shots of helicopters uh, doing water bucket drops and retardant drops, which is really cool to see in person rather than video. Uh, but these are some of the really cool things that we get to do on wildland fire incidents as a public information officer. If you'd like to be out here having these kind of experiences as a public information officer, reach out to us. I can show you the way, um, especially during the fire season months, because that's when all the action is. So if, especially if you're a teacher or a college student looking for something to do in the summer months, this is a great opportunity for you out there.